Hi, I'm Oriana from Historic Brightonsville, and today we'll be talking about enslaved clothing and head wraps. Early 18th century America, many colonies started enacting slave codes, and slave codes were laws which regulated the lives of enslaved people. In South Carolina, 1735, the South Carolina Negro Act was in place, and it controlled how enslaved people lived their lives, everything from whether they could leave the plantation or not, if they could make money for themselves, they couldn't meet without the presence of a white person, and even the clothing that they wore. And in the 1735 South Carolina Negro Act, there was a section that talked about the specific fabrics that enslaved people were allowed to wear. They were prohibited from wearing anything that was seen as extravagant or nice material. And today we'll talk about some of the materials they were allowed to wear. All right, so one of the most popular cloths that would have been used for enslaved people was called slave cloth. Um, it was sometimes referred to as plantation cloth. It would have been either cotton, like this fabric here, or wool, because that would have been better during the cooler months. And sometimes it could be a combination of cotton and wool, just because it was depending on the season. And then another fabric that would have been used is osnabry, as seen here. It's made of cotton and it was usually unbleached, so it would have either white or kind of brown color like we see here, and it could also be dyed blue using indigo. And another one that was used would have been um, kersey, which is kind of like a twill fabric. And then another one, another fabric that would have been used occasionally was jean. Now this would have been paired with other durable fabrics such as slave cloth or kersey or osnabry, and it wouldn't have been seen as a jacket like we see here, but it would have been this material. The reason slave cloth would have been one of the most popular fabrics used is because it was inexpensive yet durable. It was good for hard labor, so slave cloth would, would have been one of the most popular ones. And slave people were given allotments for their clothing um, at least once or twice a year usually. We don't know how the Bratton Plantation would have done this, but we do know from local sources how it may have been done on other plantations, like the James Henry Hammond Plantation. According to Hammond, men would have been given two shirts, a wool jacket, and a wool pair of pants. Women would have been given six yards of cotton fabric, a needle, thread, and about half a dozen buttons to sew their own clothing. Children would have been given two shirts in the spring and two shirts in the fall, and young girls would have been given two frocks as well. The way enslaved African American women styled their head wraps was a way for them to establish a personal identity. It also was a communal identity connected with West, their West African cultural roots. Now keep in mind that these styles wouldn't have been worn just by enslaved African American women, but free African American women as well. And today I'll show you a couple of ways these women would have styled their head wraps. So the head wrap I have here, I made myself. It's pretty simple. Um, these women would have been using whatever fabric they had left to create head wraps if they were going to wear one. And so I just cut out two large pieces of fabric and hand sewed them together down the middle. So for the first one, we're going to fold it into a triangle. It doesn't have to be completely perfect. And then I'll take the corner ends here and tie them in the back. And then I tighten it. So the next step, I'll take these and twist them and bring them towards the front. Once I bring them towards the front, I'll tie them together and tighten them a little bit. I don't want them too tight or else I'll get a headache. And then tie it again. All right, and some women would have kept it hanging down like this. If you look in some of the photos, especially from the 18th century, but others would have tucked it under. 